Hi and welcome to the channel. In today's video I'm going to be explaining why a 25 pence O clip can be the most valuable piece of equipment that you carry on your van. So here's the scenario. You're pulling your hose around to the back of a property and it catches on a sharp bit of wall in between two rows, rows of bricks and it splits the hose and you've got you can't work you've got to repair your hose. You go to your van and you've got no O clips and what you do you've got to order some O clips and then you might be late for your job it's got to wait a couple of days for your O clips to come you're going to be late into the next job you might lose the next job that you might have a big job to go to the next day that you've got to cancel you might lose that job and over the years that could that 25 pence O clip could literally cost you thousands of pounds and you might say well that sounds far-fetched but the number of times that people have rung me up and said I need an O-clip Dave, have you got any spares? And uh, I've given them an O-clip and they've been able to work the next day. So I'm just going through a few of the spares that I carry with me in the van. So the first thing that I have is this box here. Now this is my box of, of bits. Uh, it's got just about everything I need in it. Um, it's got, you've got your four-way splitters in case they go. You've got spare jet capsules, so you can change all your jets. I've got rectus fittings in here. Selection of rectus, female and male, so you need both parts. I've got spare slick connects, both ends of that. I've got spare univalves. Uh, if one of those goes, you can be in trouble. Bits of spare hose. Uh, I've even got spare uh, little thumb clips in case that breaks while you're out at work. So I've got loads of bits in in the box which uh, I've even got spare gooseneck fittings uh, because over the years I've had all these different bits break at one time or another. So over time I've built up a whole selection of kit that I take with me. Even got spare brush ends with a swivel on it. I had one of those break once, not from this make, but from another make, so I always carry a spare of those. That's the brush stock that you just screw onto the back of your brush. Um, so that is the main box that I carry that's got all my spares. I also carry with me a set of O-clips. Uh, I'll leave a link for everything in the description below. Uh, this set of O-clips is off Amazon and it comes with a set of pliers because there's no point in having the O clips if you haven't got the pliers to put them on or to take the old ones off. So great little set that, got all the different sizes in it you could possibly need and some that you probably would never need. But what you do, as you use them, order some, next time you order something, just top them up as you use them. Make sure you've always got plenty, make sure you've got at least 10 and then you're ready for any occasion. So O clips are probably the most important thing and the thing that uh, you need the most often. I also carry with me a box of fuses, just spade fuses. There's a, a variety of different sizes in there. So whether it's my pump that goes, whether it's my controller, even if it's my lights that I've got in the back of the van, I've got spare uh, fuses to replace them with. I also carry with me um, they're called terminals or bullet connectors, spade connectors. You can buy a multi-pack like that that's got all the different sizes in. It's got all the different shapes. It's got bullets and spades and forks and all sorts. So those come in really handy uh, if you've got a bit of a wiring problem. Also, if you've got a wiring problem, I also carry a roll of spare cable and a, uh, a roll of tape. Both of these, insulation tape, just cheap stuff, comes in handy for so many things, a roll of insulation tape. You should never be without it. Talking of tape, PTFE tape. If you've got a bit of a dodgy connection somewhere, roll a PTFE tape, wrap it round a few wraps, tighten it back up. That normally stops most leaks. So, brilliant thing. Now, it's all right having uh, all these different spares, but you've got to also be able to have the tools that uh, that you need for them. So I've got quite an extensive toolkit here, but the basic things that you need is, I think, electronic screwdriver and a good quality 
Um, this is a Stanley multi-tool screwdriver. It's got all your hex bits, it's got your Allen keys, it's got your posies and your straights. Um, it's got just about everything that you can need. Get a good quality one and it doesn't break the first time. That just stops in there, sticks together with a little magnet inside it. Absolutely essential, the number of times I've used that. I also carry an adjustable uh, wrench. That comes in really useful as well. It's surprising how many times you need that, just to tighten things up. And for the cable, uh, there's two tools here, which you can get cheap ones, but once you've got a quality one, um, it makes you realize how bad the cheap ones were. This is a cable stripper. So all it does is you put your cable in and press the buttons and it strips off that end bit that people are always trying to get off with a bit of knife for a Stanley blade. So yeah, it, just put your cable in through the end, pull it and that just strips off the right amount for a connection off the end of there. Also got a ratchet crimp set. Now that is for the uh, spade or the bullet bits. Um, you can do it with a pair of pliers, but the number of times before I had this, I'd have cables coming out, and you'd just be left with the two connectors together and no cable in it. Since I've been using these, I've never had a problem with cables pulling out. So I think that's another absolutely essential tool. Now, I do keep a few other spares um, that I've built up over the years. Um, I leave these at home, I don't bring them with me. I normally take with me, I've got at home a um, spare controller because I have had a controller breakdown years ago now. The more modern ones don't tend to, but I have got a spare. I've also got a spare pump, again, which I leave at home. Um, my, all my work's close to home, so I don't need to bring these things with me. I'm never more than 15, 20 minutes from home anyway. So leave these at home but i've got them and then that way if it ever does break down you're not losing a day's work waiting for stuff to turn up i've even got a spare hose reel i've got the old mark one powered hose reel in the shed uh, and i've kept that now i know this seems like a lot of equipment to buy all in one go and it can be so what i would recommend is get something like the oak lift they are actually absolutely essential maybe get a pair, spare rectus or a spare um, univalve because those they don't last forever so you do need to change them so get spares of those then the big stuff things like um, the pump this is actually my old pump it still works but it's not that good now so uh, what I did is when I needed with this I realized this was starting to wear I bought a new pump and I kept this one as a spare same with the uh, controllers I uh, I took my old V11 off. Spring had sent me a new V16, but if I hadn't have, I would have bought the new V16 anyway. So there's still nothing wrong with this. Keep it somewhere warm and dry, be fine. And then if ever you need it, you can just swap it out. If you have the bullet connectors on it, it takes seconds to do it. You've got um, a spare controller there. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, thanks very much for watching to the end. And uh, I've got a little announcement. Um, myself and my brother Sam have been working on something new. Um, something that we're really excited about. I can't tell you any more than that yet. It's not like uh, when I started up the roof cleaning and started a new business this, that way that would just benefit me. This is something that's going to benefit all the exterior cleaners everywhere. Uh, so we're really excited about it. And uh, so make sure you keep watching and you'll find out what it is very soon. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye for now.